Evening chat, evening everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another GT Sport live stream, the livest of streams 
on this game. Oh, lads. Lads. I don't even know what to tell you. In my opinion, right, whoever is making these daily race choices is absolutely scamming a living. Literally, like, oh my god. <laughs> They've not been good for at least four or five weeks now. Like, like every week on the Thursday, like when they get released or you find out, you're just praying, aren't you, boys? Like, we're just praying, lads, every time. Like, oh, surely this week's going to be good, isn't it? Surely this week's going to be decent. Oh, God. Like, what are they doing? <laughs> ah! It's so annoying. Why are they so crap at doing this? There's thousands of combinations, boys and girls. Literally thousands. But we end up in the same situation every week. I say hello, you say hello back, and I say to you guys, boys and girls, just how crap the races are. But, but don't worry, have no fear, I'm here as your personal test dummy as such, to kind of show you the way of just how bad these races are. So let's crack on with it. Daily Race C, I've just jumped straight in chat, so we're going to do Daily Race C. We're not going to mess about. We are not going to mess about. Uh, I may, I may only do one. Depends how I feel, because honestly, I... Before I even, even qualifying, even even qualifying, I wanted to just. You ever get? You ever just get in one of those moods where you just want to, like, you want to smash everything, but you know you can't because <laughs> it's just a stupid thing to do, and you should never do it. I was literally in that mood. Even in qualifying, I was like, Beckin can't stand this thing, but. Listen, someone in chat has said, Tidge said the races are good. Listen, Tidge does race guides every week, so I suppose if anyone knows they're good, then Tidge does. But for me, oh, stinker. Stinker. Absolute stinker. Um, I tried the Audi. Uh, the Audi R16, 18. Um, couldn't stand it. Cannot stand it. Um, can't stand any group cut one car. So my qualifying time for this one is a... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, a 128.9. Another stinker. Uh, not even in the top 10 of my own friends list. So, but thanks everyone for joining me anyways. Uh, I appreciate it, even though it's um, uh, questionable at best. I mean, what was race B? It's um, group 4 at Fuji, isn't it? So, it's not too bad, but again, it's just a combination we've seen a billion times. Any iRacing content? Um, do you know what? I don't think we're going to have an, um, stuff for a while, Aaron. Um, I don't think I'm doing one this weekend, you know? I don't think I'm actually doing one. Uh, let me know if you can hear the fan, by the way, because it's getting that kind of time of year where even though the weather is quite rubbish, it's starting to get a bit hot, humid. So, uh, yeah, um, it's a little bit it's a little bit toasty. So if it does get a little bit, um, if you can hear the fan, let me know. And uh, we'll go from there. But I'm going to sort of swap over now. Boom, there we go. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah. I'm sick of Fuji. Exactly! Exactly, mate. Hello, Paul. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. And, uh... Thank you for the like button, even though you've not watched anything yet, really. So, uh, appreciate that. And for the two people that uh, disliked my stream, um, I've, well, I'm, I'm not, I can't say. <laughs> Dislike away. No Pepsi Max tonight, Chato. Just uh, on the old Ribena. <laughs> I just got a massive, I've got a massive sod off big bottle of Ribena, you know. <laughs> That's all I've got. Oh, rubber bandit seen the race and thought, sod that, I'm out. What's the strat, chat? Thank you, Paul. Uh, what's the strat? What are people going for in this one? Um, so everyone's in the Porsche or the Toyota. So I'll pick the Porsche, which is good. Greetings, P1. So if I, I'm going to be mid, so I want to start the mediums, don't I? I imagine. First in front, that's free position, A. Hey. Hey, Yuko, you never know. <laughs> you never know. You might change. Literally, it might be... Listen, if there's any day Burst is going to beat me, it'll be today. It will be today. Honestly, just win. Easy. <laughs> so what are you saying? Five medium, seven softs. Ollie's rant's always worth like... Thank you, Goober Chop. Um, it's, it's, it's not a Peggy 18 stream. If it was a Peggy 18 stream, I would be going a lot harder than I am right now. 
Where did I get the shirt? Um, Chloe got it for me for Christmas. No, for my for Christmas. Um, I mean, if you go on Jimmy Broadbent's channel and then click on merch, it's under there, mate. Ah, <sighs> oh, Miggy. The only fans I can hear are the 181 watching. I love that. I rate that so highly. That is good. Two medium, ten soft. Really? Really? I assume no fuel saving. That's I assume. That's that's the way to go, chat. Um, brake balance to the rear as well. Early stop. That dirty air is a killer for positioning. Ah, okay. Strategy has come first. I think <laughs> I think we're on the wrong race for that. All right, cool. Here we go then. Let's do it. Gonna see just how bad I am at this. Let's get you off there. Oh, an Alpine livery, of course. Is that the most common livery on GT Sport or any game? At the moment. Alpine livery is absolutely everywhere. Solid start, not dead yet. Power too early there. For an open that, it's not actually that bad. A yeah, new golf livery would be nice, yeah. Although, again, I feel like everyone's going to have it. I've just realised as well... I forgot how terrible this track is for overtaking. I'll have to get the elbows out for this one, boys and girls. Absolute send. Understeer. A lot of it. I feel like I may go lap for like four or five, I don't know. I feel like I'm so bad in these cars. That, you know, just having worn tyres is just going to be an absolute killer for me. It's just understeering it.
is... I can see the front tyres already on mediums after three laps. I can see a red line already, so I'm a bit conscious about doing a large amount of laps on the softs. Yeah, I see your chat, a few of you said Tidge and uh, Key have gone, it. gone for it. Do you know what? Sod it, chat, I trust you. I'm going to go in the pits this lap. I'm going in. I trust you. I believe in you, chat. A lot of other people doing the same thing, by the way. Okay. Woo! We'll see. Oh, so I can go plus five on the brake bias. Ooh. Hello, spaghetti. end was straight away not happy so I might just go forward instead. Didn't like that as soon as I went in there. That old trail breaking was not nice. This dear man, feck's sake. Evening, Bish. Welcome, welcome. Bingham catching Coyote. Or Coyote. Uh, Coyote. This guy up in front. I'm not going to say his name. Honestly, chat, I can't tell you if my pace is good or not. I have no idea. So I'm kind of going around. I'm just kind of going off if I'm catching the guys in front, and I am at the moment. So my assumption is this is good. Got a flag for someone then. Let's be going in the pits. Oh yes, fastest lap. I'll have some of that. That's too deep. Feel the tyres have gone off already, which is just a stupid thing to say. I can feel it already. There's so much speed, these things, as soon as you just drop a little bit, you can feel it.
Come on. Yeah, actually, good point. It could be dirty, yeah. Thank you, cheap money. Doesn't feel like it at the moment, but I'll take it. Good, thanks, Sammy. Thanks for dropping in. Be sure to drop like, absolutely, Michael. But only if you're enjoying it, boys and girls. If not, no worries. Tell us why. And we'll try and improve on it. Don't be a dick, dislike, and then go away. Tell us why so we can improve. Fine up ahead, look. I, I know I've got the fastest lap, I know. I know I hate group ones and I've got the fastest lap, but I just do. <laughs> I don't know anymore, actually. I've lost it, I've lost it. Ha, <laughs> cheers, Michael. Evening, Ali. Hope you well, mate. I hate this track. Um, I enjoy driving it. I just racing on it's a bit of a pain because overtaking is just so difficult. The only the only real benefit I'd say right now of using Group One cars here is that I don't feel. Like, I'm having to do anything with a hybrid. Like, it just, it's just recharging itself, and I don't have to worry about it, which is great. Hello, Slab. Grandpa's Pace, hello, hello. Thanks, everyone, for saying hello, chat. you joining. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. Good launch. Oh, this hybrid's better, I bet. That's okay, it's good, we're good. Slam the brakes set. Come on, tyres, hang on. Side man behind me. Just notice he's caught up. It's gonna be difficult. Oh. Got to 
defend from behind as well now. Oh, mate, really? Really, dude? That's a tad annoying, chap. Just push his way through there, isn't he? All's fair in love and war. Don't dish it out if you can't take it, son. You watch him yeet it on the inside of me at some point. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that really, if I'm being honest. But, I don't know. It just annoyed me. If he takes me now, fair play. He deserves it. How do I react if someone donated a grand and a half? I don't know, I've never said, I don't think that's possible. I think YouTube caps you, ca caps you? I think caps you, sorry, at 300. See, there you go, easy. Got a move done there. I still think there's something to play for here. But, I don't know. I don't know how I'd react to that. Very precise number, by the way. Is there a reason you said a grand and a half? Is it 500? I thought it's 300. Okay. Oh, he's gone for a big lunge. Oh, he's giving out fair play. I rate that. Now, is he going to go past this guy cleanly? What do you reckon, chap? He looks feisty. How the hell did Tidge pit on that one? Anki, how do they do that? We're in a different car. Oh, he's got him. Just shed that understeer from everyone there. Really difficult to find a way past this guy. Oh, the understeer then. I was thinking about a dive bomb on this hairpin, but that exit was just so poor. Even Andrew. Oh, Jesus. Felt that then. Yeah, there's no way I could do pit on lap one. Not a chance. My front left is just absolutely toast. Looks like we're going to finish P Steve here. Oof. I can see why people do like four or five laps on the medium. My, my time's then. You know. Really poor at the end. Whew. Oh, it's terrible at the end there. I don't think we did too bad though. I think it, I'll take a P6. Someone, someone did guess that we beat that we beat um, first, and we did. So I'll take that. Yes, I have taken his legacy. Absolutely.
Super G video confirmed. Live stream confirmed. <laughs> if only we had the subs and viewers, eh? No, <laughs> no way, Diglett. No way. No way. Thank you, Flying Spanner. Yeah, spaghetti P6, not bad. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, I'll take it. I mean, you got you guys know. <laughs> you guys know that Group One cars are my absolute nemesis. I cannot stand them. So I'm happy to get a P6, to be honest. I don't know whether that'll do our um, driver rating or anything else, or like that. Any good? To be honest. But uh, yeah, did I? I did. I did. So for me, it's a bit of a strange race, that one. Um, because... <laughs> Thank you, Fink Mick. Uh, did I watch the Monaco Grand Prix this weekend? Uh, yes. Um, with absolute... Right. <laughs> I I've said, I said this, right? I said this on a previous live stream. Okay. You can... It's just my opinion. Alright? So, don't hate. Okay? But... I think Monaco Grand Prix needs to go. It 100% needs to go. It has, it's for the rich and famous. It's not for, Damn, it's so not for your standard fan. Games. I don't think it's. There's, there was not a single on-track overtake apart from Schumacher or Mazepin, mate. I just can't stand it. Like, <laughs> the thing is, you've got you've got Monaco there because the money, the fame, and the history. But we don't we don't have Hockenheim. Which literally produce some of the best races we've ever seen. But we don't have it. You know, but we do have Monaco. Yay. Can't, honestly, I can't. It just, like, you can go, oh, practice was brilliant, qualifying was brilliant. Um, I was talking about it on Discord, uh, and a lot of people were saying, oh, but, you know, it's the, it's the history, it's the strategy. I was like, what strat? It's a one stop. Like, where, where, where's the strat? Like, I don't get it. Um, uh, someone said as well, um, it's so good because you only get results like this at Monaco. I was like, well, the people who finished in that position don't really deserve it in a way because they only got there because nobody could overtake them. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's up for debate. It's just my opinion, though. It's just my opinion, um, which is great. Um, you know, you can... Disagree or agree, to be honest. It's absolutely, absolutely fine. Um, so, yeah, it looks like um, the Nations Cup is here um, on Wednesday as well. Short version, though. Interestingly enough, 12 laps. Grid start. And you can pick any car you like. It's going to be an FFS short. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. It is indeed. Okay, there's a McCann trophy there, actually. Yes, well, 2018, Vettel couldn't do Ricardo, and Ricardo didn't even have a fully functioning engine. So, what what does that tell you? And the, do you know what the, the thing that annoyed me the most as well? One of those things, right, is normal normal fans. Let's just say normal fans like myself and you in the chat. You couldn't even if you bought tickets, you could like a general admission, right? You couldn't even go to the podium. Right? Because the band's outside the front of it. And then secondly, um, you've just got all the teams and then the people that are paying above the pit lane. So you, your normal, you know, you're not, if you've just paid for a general admission ticket, you can't even see the podium if you're there. You can't go and watch it. <laughs> Honestly, it just adds to little things that I hate about that place, you know. Hate it. Oh, it's the, it's the driver's favourite. It's historic. Mate, you've got to move on. <laughs> In my opinion, you've got to move on. You can't live in the past. <laughs> Fick Mike says, Fick angry. I am thick and I am angry, yes. There, there's no doubt about that. Right, chat, what do you want? A daily race C. My voice is going. Damn, son. Do you want a daily race C or, or a daily race B? Let me know in the chat and we'll go from there. Why is this week a stinker? Um, because I've just done a daily race C, which is over 20 minutes of racing. Um, and I only did one track overtake, and I actually lost the position as well. So the only reason I overtook anyone is because of pit strategy, which actually reminds me of the Monaco Grand Prix. So <laughs> it's it's just it's just trash. Um, it's just not very good. 
in my opinion. It looks like B wins it. So we'll go from B, we'll go at the back then. Cool, cool, cool. So what's what's the top ten then? That's clearly not right. There we go. The Atenza. Really? The Atenza. The Atenza. Yeah, Kino, um you will if you if you um if you spam mate, you'll get you'll get um you get timed out. That's all, dude. Don't worry about it too much, but yeah. Okay, so we're going to go in the hurry. The uh, Tenzer, then. Is it, is, it, is it really fast in a straight line or something? <laughs> Jack, you're in top 10. Oh, yeah. Man like Jack. There you go. I thought the, um, I thought the McLaren would be quicker, you know? Um, let's, let's see if we can find our Tenzer, then. I cannot remember the last time I used an Atenza. Here it is. Yeah, I li yeah, chat, I'm with you. I thought the 650S would be amazing here. But, no, guess not. McLaren was top most of this morning. Ah, okay. Was it Daniel Gilson? Hello, mate. Hmm. Hello, Ray. Hope you're well. People have forgotten that Bracer did a 43 flat on mediums here. No, I didn't even... I have forgotten because I didn't even know he did it. But, Jesus. Um, question, have I done any karting on any other racing before? Just curious. I've done karting. I've done one at... Uh, I've done two races at Daytona in Milton Keynes. I don't like the track, if I'm being completely honest. Um, and I've raced, I had a membership there for a year and I can't, do you know what? I can't even remember the place. That's really bad. Um, it's about uh, an hour drive from me. Um, uh, but they didn't have, they didn't have weight classes. The only thing that put me off, um, are you were racing with people that like weighed like, f oh, I weigh like 85 kilos, like 85 kilos or something. And then they would. <laughs> It'd be like 60. <laughs> it's just like, how's that really fair? But there you go. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> you knew I was going to say about Monaco before I even said it. I know, I know, I know. We've had, we've had the Spanish Grand Prix and Monaco. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, two stinkers. To be fair, do you know what? The Spanish Grand Prix wasn't actually that bad. I haven't done a 24-hour side. I've never even been at side. Be honest, never been there. Oh, I won't, I'm not laughing at your light, Donnie's wheel. Will, trust me, I would love to be liked. I would love it. But, mate, I just love food, bro. Like, right, it's just. <laughs> there's no two ways about it. I'm going to beat around the bush, mate. I just love food. Like, just a, a too much. But, yeah. Hyped for Singapore already. I've never really got hyped for Singapore. Ha, <laughs> Fick Mick with another 750. Oh, the Serena Williams thing. Oh, chat. Let's talk about the Serena Williams interview. What the feckin' hell was that? What was that? What was, what was David Coulthard doing? It was so cringe. Hello, Jack01 and Carman as well. It was so cringe. I don't know. Like, what's she doing there? What's she doing there? Like, I get it. She's waving the flag. Why? Why is she next to Max Verstappen? Then about to do his interview because he's literally just won a race at Monaco. What's she doing there? <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, it was and David Coulthard as well when he was doing an interview. It was so cringe. Going all. Oh. The prince is looking at you. Should you be bowing and stuff like that? Oh, shut up, David. Just shut up. Get in the bin, mate. What are you doing? Jesus Christ. Can you imagine it like um, Wimbledon, Max Verstappen just coming out of the crowd and they start interviewing him when she's just won a Grand Slam? <laughs> Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't mind the interviews. Um, they do get a bit boring, but mate, like, 
It's just bad. It was one of the worst interviews I've seen. Oh, and the TV director is, yes, the TV director. Uh, it was a special one. Like, it's, it was not the usual F1 ones. Um, I think it was a special Monaco one. Um, mate. Oh, the one time cars were racing side by side and they cut away to it. Oh, oh they cut away from it, sorry. Oh. Howler. Absolute howler. Hello, John. Plus one or minus five, up to you. Really? Does it really vary that much? I saw him break there, I was like, that is way too early, surely. I hope I didn't. I hope he's okay. A little bit of contact, I hope it wasn't too much. Good variety of cars here though, I will say that. on these boys and girls. Right. Oh, Moo was in P2 as well. Got himself a penalty. Oh, the Bottas pit stop as well. Oh, oh that was pain. I don't know what the breaking point is. I don't want to kill anyone. I'm going to break early, I think. Ah! Ah! Surely that McGann's just too slow on the straights, right? Oh, I've been nudged there. I give him the, I give him the room, but he didn't give me any room. Oh well, we'll get him on the straight. So what is it about the attendance then, chat, that makes it so good here? Is it the four wheel drive and the good top end? I assume that's why. Coke Lopez. Hello, sir. The last corner here, yeah, it's an absolute drag, the last corner. Jesus, man. This fan is going to hit me wide. I can see it already. No, no, to be fair, he didn't. Fair play to him. Fair play. I apologise. It was good racing this at the moment. Well done.
I mean, you just got to send it on him, innit? Oh, too deep. <laughs> Way too deep, that. Oh! I said I'd have on the straight. I haven't. I said he'd knock me off. He hasn't. <laughs> this guy's having my pants down. <laughs> Thank you, GTR, for the 4.99. Love the content. Keep up. Cheers, dude. It's a bit of a struggle at the moment with the old uh, GT Sport being the way it is, but we grinding. We trying. We trying. You have to really just go for it on this last lap, I reckon. Uh, using the Atenza. I really need to learn the breaking points of the circuit. That would really help. Thank you, Colin. Appreciate that, dude. Finest race this one. Nice through there. Course, but it just sent it there. Marge is way through on this chat. I enjoyed that race. It's not that bad. I didn't. I didn't actually mind that. Pushes. <laughs> it's a bit pushy, shovey. That. Got to be honest. Hey, that average, Danny. Hope you're well. I think we may need to do some uh, qualifying on that, don't we? We need to do some qualifying on this. We, we could do quite well. Oof. Big crash at the end somewhere. Yeah, I think if we do some qualifying here, I think we'll be alright. So, the Atenza, Hurricane. Uh, I'm half tempted to use the Hurricane. I don't know why. I'm half tempted. I don't really use. I don't really use the Atenza. What do you reckon, chat? Atenza or Hurricane? Oh no, GT. I disagree with you there, dude. I'm glad you like it though, mate. That's good. That's good. But no, it's not for me. Hurricane, Hurricane, Hurricane. And the Lambo. Try something different. I don't know what. I don't know what would be good. I, don't, I tell you what. I don't know what would be good. Um, I don't know what would be different. But good. What about the GTR? What about the GTR? Surely. Surely the mintiness of the GTR would be good, right? I think, chat, I think we should go GTR, load the Lambo, and see if we can get with it. We'll take Godzilla for a spin. Subaru would be too slow on the straights. I think on that one. I think it would be too slow on the straights, unfortunately. It's not very quick on the straight. Is that where it... Ah. So that's where it loses time then. I thought the GTR was renowned for its straight line speed. 
Yeah, the Lambo's four-wheel drive, which is exactly why it's so good. Yes, it is. Jaguar. Now, it seems to be it's dominated by four-wheel drive cars, Spanner. So, I think it's sport four-wheel drive cars only. Will they do well here? That's not much slower on the straight, is it? Maybe a plus one. Goes a bit wider there. Okay, so the gearing might be an issue for that corner there. I felt that straight away. Chat, no, that sucks. Yeah, I think the bay one would be too heavy, Mr. Assassin. You're right. first corner. Make sure we don't lift miss the entry. Probably only got one more lap to be honest. Yeah, let's retry that because I'm already missing the apex that corner. So I know that's gone. When comparing your time to the top 10, do you look at the position in the world or the time difference of the pace? Uh, I just look at the top 10 in Europe and then if I'm within a second, uh, I'm, I'm, very, I'm quite happy. Okay, so yeah, it's when it gets into sixth gear, you lose maybe a tenth. that corner enough. We can break a little bit. We can break a little bit early going into that corner. Maybe inside curb a little bit more. <coughs> I think I'm about second off. Hello Ian, I'm good. Hope you're well mate, hope you're all good. Yeah, Group 4 FF cars, I just don't think they're 
a two thunder drive. 44-1. Uh, I don't know how far off that is. Might be worth trying on a tenzer, maybe. Hello, Mark. Yeah, it was a bit madness, wasn't it? No. So, how far is that off? Uh, we're about half a second off. That's not too bad. Hello, Luciano. Hope you're well. Any sugars in your coffee, mother guy? Uh, we'll go for the GTR in the race, though. Let's try it. Let's go for it. Oh, dear, dear. Oh. So sad that Project Gotham Racing Games have been officially discontinued according to Xbox. To be honest with you, Edwin, I thought they'd been discontinued a long, long, long time ago. No sugar, ooh la la. Mark Thomas says, one of my favourite tracks tonight. You on about Autopolis or are you on about Fuji? You reckon I'm going to get third or fourth place? Hmm, maybe. Hello, Steady. you thinking, so Blue Race says, am I the only one thinking FF cars are hard to follow in the slipstream compared to other Group 4 cars? I've never really taken, I've never really thought of it, to be honest. I haven't noticed it. Might be. Ah, oh, Fuji. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to say, you, uh, Yuko, I haven't heard of a, a Project Gun Racing title in a, well, that's 18 years. So, yeah, no real surprise there, mate. No real surprise. FF equals OP. Yeah, it is in certain tracks. You're not wrong there. Um, but it's, they're just good. Like, the FF cars are just, they're just good. Like, certain tracks and stuff, they're just decent. They really are. Hmm. So, I hope your week's, I hope your Monday's not gone too badly, chat. I hope it's been good. Mine was okay. I've, uh, I've got a, um, uh, well, I've got, uh, there's another position that's opened up, uh, where I work, um, so I'm gonna go, I've got an interview tomorrow, um, so, I'm not quite sure why I'm telling you guys, because there's probably a very high chance I might not get it, there's, uh, it's in a department I don't really have much experience in, but I'm going for it anyways. Because it's, it's, it's much better pay, so I'm going for it. I don't really feel too confident. I'm not very good at interviews, I don't feel. Um, I hate the fact you get judged on whether you're going to be good at a job or not <laughs> in the space of like 40, 45 minutes. I just, I just hate it. It's just not nice. Not nice. But uh, yeah, I suppose it's just the way it is, I guess. It's just the way it is. So, um, it, won't, it won't interfere with YouTube or anything like that. The only thing I would say, the only thing I would say is that um, it would mean I'm on call. So if anything does happen, um, I'll have a work phone. And if anything does, if it, as soon as it rings, um, I'll have to go, that's the end of the stream. Bang, see you later. It's the only thing. But it's, it's on a certain day. Yeah, cheers, chat. Appreciate it. We'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see. At the end of the day, if it doesn't happen, it's, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be, is it? So, um, yeah, we'll go from there. It's uh, cheers, everyone. It's it's it, it's it's still um, for who I currently work with at the moment. It's just a different department. Yeah, no, I'm giving it a go exactly. Um, I'll I'll I'll, I'll just be one. My we'll usual self. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Yeah, just you know, they. I, it's it's the way that certain questions are worded that I hate. Like, like, a standard question would be so. So, what makes you think you'll be good for this role? <laughs> and you're like, uh, <laughs> it's just that, uh, <laughs> I, um, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what to say. You gotta think. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What do I say? What do I say? Or the standard ones of, what skills do you think you'll bring to the team? Are <laughs> you like, an extra person? <laughs> I'll help with the workload? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got a job yet. <laughs> I don't know. 
Yeah, what's my job? Uh, basically fix computers, mate. Why did you apply to this position? Money. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes a good brew. <laughs> Will bring sugar or sweetness. Thank you, Joe. I won't know how I've done it till later in the week, I don't think. Well, the definition of a job, you do it for the money. Well, that is precisely why you do your job, because you need money. But, <laughs> no, <laughs> problem is, that, that, those are facts, and they, that's not, it's not something you can say in an interview. <laughs> Even though it's true, you know you can't say that. We're all there to get paid at the end of the day. So we can buy things like a car, a house, have family and all that kind of stuff. Three words to describe yourself. Oh, yeah, I hate that one as well. Oh, those are so awkward. Oh. What happens, right? Right. <laughs> I just I just thought, right? If they ask a question, if they go, um, name three words to describe yourself. And I just go, 20,000 subscribers. <laughs> Do you reckon they just look at me like, what does that mean? What does that mean, though? What, what are subscribers? Can you tell us more? What does that mean? Is it saying it had? Is it? <laughs> what, what are subscribers? I think this guy's gonna have a pants down here. Oh no, we seem to be okay. Mm, the suck. He's got a stronger suck than I have, and I've lost the suck. That could be a corner cut. That wasn't good. <laughs> what is sportsmanship? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's very good. I reckon the Spaniard behind me is getting a bit annoyed. <laughs> I'm holding him back quite a bit. In the, in the thickness of my GTR. Although, he went for it. Because I'm still in the slip, I'm okay. But I'm gonna lose it. You'll have me here. Oh, he's pushing me along. Probably gonna wait till the end. Thank you for the joy. <laughs> what up, Holly? Hope you and Chloe are doing well. Let's send it and get some podiums out. Hello, mate. Thanks for the five, my dude. Yeah, we're all good, thanks, mate. Hope you're well. Yeah, this guy's got this one. Not being able to really make any progress, to be honest. There we go. The lads are fighting now. He was asked in an interview what you're most proud of. It's a weird interview question. 
Yeah, to save my family. Like, cool. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know how they could. I don't know how they could knock points off you for that. Oh, do you know what? This dude, he loves his family. We we don't want him. Get in the bin. <laughs> loves his family. What a loser. <laughs> Ridiculous question. What do I think is a good selection for daily races? Discuss between races, I'll tell you, Phil. We'll go through it. I've done a video on it before, actually. What are you least proud of? Um, the dick. <laughs> I should have said that. Oh, this isn't going to end well. This is not going to end well. Oh, God. Yes, this. <laughs> yes, I did say something about my uh, genitalia. I will talk about any of your questions. Uh, <laughs> chat helped me with prep, yeah. And uh, someone said... Um, they once got asked what they're most proud of, and he said his fa No, 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 no! I didn't say that about that. <laughs> I um, they, someone said oh, I said my family. I was like, yeah, that's what, you know, yeah. What else? What can you? How can they downgrade you for that? And then someone said, what are you least proud of? And and that's when I said, F in ch F in chat for Ollie's dick. Nice. Thanks for that, Chloe. I was joking with the chat, but you've just come in here and, uh... No, 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 it's fine! Chloe, it's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Just slate my penis on stream. It's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. No, 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 it's cool. Absolutely fine! Don't worry about it. There's an F in chat for my penis right now. <laughs> it literally got people in chat saying F for my penis. It's cute, isn't it? It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Chloe's room when? <laughs> <Got you up. laughs> and it came through from that. Oh. No! God no. The biggest L a man can take. Yes. Absolutely. That is the biggest L take. I'm sure it's just cold. Is it cold all the time, Russell? Because I feel <laughs> that'll be Chloe's argument. <laughs> it's cold all the time. <laughs> uh, she's a lucky lady, chat. God, she's so bloody lucky. She's so lucky. <laughs> God, <laughs> can you? Is is there another lucky lady? Is there a luckier lady in the world? Honestly, I don't think there is. I really don't. Son, you find <laughs> Stuart's donated two pounds to this basic penis. <laughs> I would say you are the lucky one. Chloe, well, we, you got a fan, Forza Troy says I'm the lucky one. <laughs> if it works, then it's fine, says Phil. Why are, we, why are we talking about my penis like this? Can we, can we, can we stop? You started it. I didn't! You said your dick, so you <laughs> did. Alright, fair enough. I may, I may have done. I may have started it. Okay. Let's set a lap time in this thing.
bad start to that. <laughs> Jazzy man saying it's small talk. New OnlyFans content when? Hit that subscribe button and you'll find out. Now that's that. How the fuck hell has he got that much speed? Jeez Louise. Did I have a crack at the Olympics event? No, I didn't actually. I should have done, but... No, I, I never did. I sure I need to get that start on the straight, because... He gave like two temps on me straight away. Yeah, they might do, um, Yuko, because it, it's a bit strange, isn't it? Like, this straight line speed he had on me at the start there was kind of scary. Do we go for that strat? Do we see if it works? Because that, that extra speed he had was um, quite ridiculous. Let's go for it, shall we? I feel a bit scummy doing this, the only thing I will say. Is this scummy or not? <laughs> Sorry, Mark. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Still not the same. Mass, um, I say massively, it's about half a tenth, but still. The basic strap. Wrong gear in there, my friends, and I've lost a shed load of time. Oh dear, that is a massive game. Set. Hello Zimp, 241 likes, thanks everyone. I know this week's a bit of a stinker, so I appreciate all the views and all the likes that you do give. Thank you very much, thank you kindly. Alright, I think I've got one more lap. And I've already messed it up. Let's do one more lap then. Oh, we can go for the OP strap going off as well. Still don't think that's nowhere near enough. Oh, it might be tight here. I've just seen what the time is. Yeah, so do white wild cards. I don't have the time. I've just seen it. I don't have the time. Ah, that's annoying. Yeah, you can um, <coughs> you can tell when the da when um the daily races aren't too good, um, by the amount of views you normally get on the Monday live stream. Um, 
Month, yeah, last last week's live stream was actually in terms of views was really good. I think it's because Daily Race C was really good in terms of like strategy and fuel and all that kind of stuff. Um, whereas this week you've got Group Four of Fuji, which we've seen a million times, and then um, you've got Group One Autopolis. Group One cars are just terrible in my opinion. Um, um, they're hard to overtake as it is. Then to add Autopolis to that as well, oh, it's just a, it's just a. A horrible combination. But yeah. One of those things, really. Hello, Eric. Oh, hello, Reese, mate. Yeah, all good, thanks, dude. All good, thanks, dude. Hope you're well, mate. Hope your beamer's still running. Um, I don't know if Tidge is streaming. I think Key is. I think Key streams every day, does he not? So, and we did really well last week. I think we got... I think we had, um, I think we reached over 700 people watching last week on a Monday. Um, and that was with Key streaming as well, which is really good. But, yeah. Hey, thank you, Forza. Enjoyed your Saturday PX Cam great finish. Cheers, mate. Cheers, buddy. Sorry, um, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we did well. I had a really bad first stint. Really bad first stint. And, uh, Damn, yeah. son, you find this? Managed to recover it. PX Cam, he just did a really good job when he got in the car. Um, just kept it clean. It was just a nightmare. Honestly, I've never been killed so many times. <laughs> the first stint was horrible. Sideways never very nice. Why don't I join the race and then qualify? Because I can use a ghost if I use the qualifying. If I join the race and then qualify, I can't use the ghost. Will not let me. Morning from Oz! Hello, Matt, as always. Hope you're good. Uh, evening, Dead Eye Dale Boy as well. Hope you're good, mate. Hope everything is well. Potentially no iRacing endurance race uh, this weekend, chat. We might have a big F there. Ah. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I've got another. I've got another charity event planned. Um, I'll I'll try and talk about it more because um, <coughs> I need to ask if um, they want me to talk about it. Um, but there's someone in my Discord who's going through an extremely hard time right now, so um, I'm going to plan another charity event for them. Uh, it's on the 26th of June, and it's going to be another 12-hour solo attempt, as long as iRacing doesn't actually break this time. Uh, it's 12 hours driving by myself. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to try and raise some funds. Um, it's for a charity that they are going to pick. So, yeah. 12 hours. I've always wanted to do, like, an endurance stream as such, and I've never had the opportunity so far. In terms of like going like long haul, like 12, 24 hours. So, yeah, fingers crossed it'll work and we'll get somewhere. Uh, it's at Hockenheim, Will. The only problem with Hockenheim is a lot, it's an amazing track, but 12 hours there is going to be hell. Like, it really will. Because it's going to be, um, like, it just feels like, apart, well, that sounds strange, but apart from like the first, the first straight. You got the straight going into hairpin, and then you have got the straight after that. But after that, it's quite technical, so it's it's quite tough on the um, on the wrists. So it's going to be uh, going to be an absolute nightmare. Yeah, I try my best, Mark. I think when people support me, and um, someone in my he's in my Discord as well. We have in my Discord. Um, if you want to join, by the way, there's a link in the description. Uh, we have a community page where people can you know um, talk about openly about anything. Any fears or anything, or how they're feeling, or what's going on in life, and then we just try and help them out if we can. We're not specialists, far from it. Christ, I'm not a specialist, but um, yeah, we just try and help where we can. Uh, and he put he put a long message in there yesterday, I think, or the day before. I read it and I was like, we gotta do something for him. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. 26th of June, um, 12 hour endurance race, charity of his choice. I will do Spanner. It will be very much like last time, where I'll do a, a GoFundMe. No, no, it's not GoFundMe, is it? 
I can't remember. When we did the mine charity, we raised sixteen hundred dollars, I think. Seventeen hundred dollars. Crazy. Hello Anubis. Hope you well. Hey. Nice work, Echo. Double check that message, man. It's a little bit too long, mate. I can't quite read it. Price about something. Team trees. No, uh, <laughs> um, good idea, but it's it's not actually. It's it's going to be something personal for them. If that makes sense, because of what they're going through. They were in the chat earlier. They're not in there anymore. And like I said, I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't know whether they want to talk about what they're going through on a live stream. They might just want to keep it in the community tab on Discord, so uh, I'm going to respect that and just, you know, tell people what I am doing <laughs> and what it is, but I'll get I'll get permission off them first before I start saying why we're doing it. got P5 last time, didn't we? Blue Racer once more. Rock the German. It's uh, it's like the Italians have taken over this race. Italian top three. Nice little move that. Sorry, mate, I didn't see you there. Hello, Ingo. Hope you're well. Welcome, welcome. Oh, fatty. Hello, mate. How's it going, buddy? Oh, Paolo. Yeah, it is, it is a shocker this week. There's no doubt in that, mate. This is probably the only saving grace um, by a margin. It wouldn't If this hadn't been so common, uh, it'd actually be quite good. But again, it's far too common for my liking. Fatty, we've been over this so many times, mate. You're the legend, dude, not me. I'm just some dude driving a car. A pixelated one of that. Working late on Mondays. That sucks, dude. I oh, was to get a jump on the week. Ah, okay, fair enough. SLS next time round. Oof. I'm going to say no to that purely because one, it's a terrible car, and two, it is my manufactured car, so I try to avoid it where I can, really.
Good racing. Thank you, Blue Racer. That could have been a lot more awkward. Cheers, dude. Not clipping the apex that corner very well. He's got me there. I can't defend that. Oh, is he at the wall there up front? We'll give him the room. Get on the inside line for the next corner. Ah, this is really good racing. Uh, no, I don't need to do the pity kick in, Forza. We're all good. We're all good. That's the weekend job, that. <laughs> oh, around the outside. Go on. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Oh, it's got the inside. No! Was that an off-track overtake? Is that, <laughs> is that illegal? Call me Max Verstappen. That was a <laughs> that was off-track for me. Even I would say that's questionable. If he has it, if he has it, he deserves it. Go on. If you have it, mate, you deserve it. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Bit naughty for me. I think it's the best thing to do is let him uh, let him have that. Ah, cheers, Will. Hello, Cal. Yoss for Stappen. Oh, I like that, King. I like that. I rate that, my guy. Right, should we try... Can't believe I'm going to say this. Should we try a Daily Race C again? I think we're going to have to, aren't we? Ooh. Hello, Martin. Yeah, not too bad, Zimp. Yeah, not too bad, mate. Good racing, Blue Racer. You wish Fuji was a night racer? That'd be cool. I don't do many night races on Gran Turismo. Race A. Oh, I don't know, Funders. I never like Race A. And there's a tw there's an 18 minute gap. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no to your invitation. I'm afraid. I hate to say it. Is it bank holiday in Germany today? Is it Martin? All right. What would I change in GT Sport? Uh, whew. Uh, I'd add a daily race D. I can tell you that much. I'd add. I tell you what. I'd add a daily race D and special events. So, Daily Race D would be an hour race at mandatory tyres and fuel saving of some, some, you know, like, it'll give you a full tank, but that full tank will never get to the end. Um, you know, so I'd, I'd add a, a, a Daily Race D, which is an hour long, um, and I'd also add special events. So, let's just say once a month, there is a six hour race, I don't know. Uh, Atopolis or somewhere, do you know what I mean? Um, at the weekends, for a Saturday night, for a Saturday like 6, 7 o'clock, um, you know, a special event. Um, <laughs> it sounds very eye racing -y. That's because it is, because eye racing do it very well. Dynamic weather, there you go, spot on. That's a very good shout. Very good shout. 
Um, so yeah, that would be pretty awesome. So yeah, I mean, a daily race D and special events. I don't think there's too much else you really need to do. Oh, uh, the ability, the ability to swap, um, swap drivers. That's a good one as well, I think. What do you reckon? Just got the entry. The ability to swap drivers um, whilst you're in the car. Um, I think as well, um, the special events or daily race D um, would have damage. Um, I know you've got damage in the game, which is okay when it's on, but it would be it would be damage that would have to be fixed. You'd have to fix it. So um, obviously you couldn't see it visually, uh, but it would have to be fixed. You know. And I take all these ideas from iRacing because iRacing do their endurance races very well. Even if you're like a massive GT Sport fanboy and disgusted at, disgusted at the thought of paying for iRacing, which, you know, is very expensive. But their endurance races and special events are special. So that's what they need to do. Hello, Rodrigo. I hope you're well. A mirror for bonnet cam. And oh, that's a good shout. Some very good ideas. See, all these things as well that we're saying in the chat, I don't think they're hard to implement, are they? Hello, Eric. Daily Race A to have a daily rotation system. That's a very good idea. I should write all these down. These are cracking ideas, guys. These are brilliant ideas, I have to say. Hello, Lars. Yeah, don't blame you. I'm here as a test dummy for you guys if you don't want to touch the daily races this week. Why don't you do an invite endurance lobby for a Monday night stream? I thought about it, Ali. But the, pr the problem is, is <laughs> you, can't, you can't swap drivers. Um, and you can only have 16 people in it. So you either have 16 people doing like an endurance race for like two, three hours on GT Sport. But it's not the same on GT Sport. It just isn't. Because you don't have that fear of going off, hitting the wall, getting damaged, getting a meatball, uh, this and that. Um, there's just there's just nothing there's just nothing to uh, endurance races on GT Sport because there isn't any damage. Um, th that risk factor. That if we bin it, we are out. If someone touches us, we are out. If we spin and hit the wall, we're in the pits for five minutes. Our race is over. There's none of that. There's absolutely none of that in this game. So, <sighs> endurance races on GT Sport, unless you have damage of some sort, it, it completely numbs it out. Because all that will happen is... <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, right? But the fastest team will win. Which, of course, you're probably like, well, of course they bloody win. You know, the fastest team, they, they deserve it. But, if they are the fastest team... And they are hitting the wall every couple of laps. Then they don't deserve to be P1 because in real life they wouldn't make it. They would be they the, the car would be out. So it's yeah, Matt, you spent six thousand seven hundred Australian dollars on a new PC. My good Matt, that's got to have a thirty ninety in it, surely. So uh, yeah. When's the next YouTuber Grand Prix? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I love those. I think I think you did as well, chat. But the, the problem with that is that it's organised by IGTL, and IGTL are um, they they've got their own tournament going on right now, um, and they've got sponsorships for it and everything. So that's going pretty well, I think. So they said they put it on hold for now. Exactly, exactly, Techno. So this is where this is where GT Sport lacks in the damage model. But you know, GT Sport is uh, like a 10, 12 pound game, um, and it's absolutely brilliant for the content you get. Money, <laughs> money for the stuff that you get is unbeatable. You know, the price of a track on iRacing, you can get all the cars and the whole game in GT Sport. That's the difference. But, but. The longest race you'll see on GT Sport is about 25 minutes. Which, when you think about it, is absolute child's play. It's absolute child's play. Um, 25 minutes, like... What's that? <laughs> it's just, yeah. Hello, Abdullah. Nice to see you in here, mate. I hope you're well. 
Jamie, it, it's a difficult one. You've got to get a mixture of both. I, I understand what you're saying, but um, you got it. For me, you got to have a mixture of both. So I would say um, you can you can have a mirror, um, but you can also have damage. I get your probably your point is realism. You wouldn't have a mirror on the bonnet cam, um, but you've you've got to have you, you've got to have a good balance. If you went full realism on GT Sport, you'd lose so much of the fan base. You'd lose so much. So you've got to have a mixture of both. Yeah, you'll never get you'll never get it perfect. For example, if we had bonnet cam with a mirror, people would say it's not very realistic to have uh, a mirror. But then the argument is, well, it's not very realistic to be on bonnet cam. Do you know what I mean? Like you you can't win. Like whatever you do, you can't win. You can't win. There, there is, there is no perfect solution, unfortunately. The ability to turn off driver arms and steering wheel and cockpit camera would be nice too. Yeah, it would be. But then that would go towards, that would go towards the the side of. Well, that's not very realistic, because, <laughs> you know, if you're driving the car in real life, you're gonna see your arms. You're gonna see the steering wheel. So that's not fair. Um, it's the same with eye racing as well. Like you can adjust your field of view so it's much more zoomed in, and you can't see the steering wheel. But that takes away the whole point of realism in eye racing, if that makes sense. So it's 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 one of those things. You you can never get it right. I don't think. It's really hard to find a perfect balance. Yeah, uh, thank you, gaming. I hope we are. I hope you're good as well. Yeah, uh, it's one of those things. I think ACC tried to get in the middle of it, like try and do um, <laughs> a brilliant car physics. But um, for me, I don't. The damage model's pretty, pretty terrible on it. I think. Oh yeah, I get the realism bits, but it's weird seeing my own arms and wheels. So it's weird to have double. I suppose that's a good argument. That's a good argument. Can't argue with that, I guess. Get some Bitcoins this way. <laughs> which one, Wayne? Tell me which Bitcoin we should invest in. Tell the chat. If you've got any advice for chat, tell us which one we need to invest in. <laughs> Hello, Cyrus. Hope you're well. Group 1 out of list. You're, you're not wrong, Callum. You're not bloody wrong, mate. Oh, we're in sixth. That's quite high up. I'm expecting that. You can tell it's a stinker because you've got like nobody on it. <laughs> you've got like, nobody on it. <laughs> uh, Richard also makes a very good point. It says if you don't have three screens, the point of view is always unrealistic. Like driving a tank when you have one screen. It's a good point. That's a very good point. This is what I mean, you see. People are, people are going to come in and they're going to prove your theories wrong. They're going to, or, you know, they're going to say this, they're going to say that. Um, yeah. But no game's perfect, I guess. You're not wrong. Yeah, I suppose VR um, would make it more realistic. But some people don't like VR in terms of it will make them feel sick. After all, I know Jimmy can't do it. Jimmy Broadbent can't do it. Basic coin, I like that. What about remnants with damage they can take everyone out of the race? That Spoonmon is where that's Gran Turismo's. That, that's down to the game to sort. You shouldn't have to worry about that. If Gran Turismo had a good, reliable uh, sportsmanship rating, you would that wouldn't even be a consideration because you wouldn't have those kind of drivers in your lobby. You wouldn't have those kind of drivers. So it doesn't. It wouldn't. It, in a way, it'd be irrelevant because. You know, if you're clean enough, you'll be in a clean lobby and that won't happen. So, do you know what I mean? It's an interesting conversation, chat. I'm enjoying this conversation. Good luck, dude. Cheers, King is. Good luck to you as well. Give him the sportsmanship video for every penalty. <laughs> now, that is a real penalty.
DR reset or one week ban exactly will. Something like that. Something like that would would you know make the world a difference. Augustus, yep, I agree. Terrible races. Oh, we got the old Womble man. We've got the Wombler in front of us. And we've got Dougie in P1 as well. Those 300 likes. Yes, if you enjoy in chat, as always, please do hit the like button. Thanks very much. Oh, Jesus. That wasn't very big or clever of me there. He went into the back of poor old Womble. Hello, Mario. I'm struggling, boys. I won't lie. And he spun as well. Oh, you poor bugger. I think he's rage quit. Oh, that's an F, chap. That's a big F. The Cyberman. King of the Cybers. I suck a group one so bad. Oh, I can't stand them. Why am I doing this race again? This chat, can you tell? Why did I agree to do this? Okay, Jesus Christ, that's some lag. I'm in all sorts of trouble here. Oh, thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll tell you what boys and girls the urge inside of me right now to just quit this race is unbelievable oh it's just i just if it was a if it was a football i just want to kick it into next week ah. Some of these are on softs.
catch up with the lads. We go one extra lap. I did a bit lap three last time and soft tyres at the end were just dead. I'll just do one more actually. That's not it. Now that's an entry. <laughs> now that is an entry. Uh, I don't know, Sander, it's just the way these cars are, mate. Unfortunately. <laughs> ah, Zed, I've got that all under control, mate. Don't you worry about that. Got that all under control. A long daily race, you reckon? We were just saying earlier in the chat that the uh, the old daily races are. Uh, I mean, what's 12 laps really? Oh, the lads. Oh, he's gone. Hello, Herta Turtle. Hope you're well, mate. Oh, Dougie was on there. On the softs.
very early to come in on softs already. Jesus. It's 1.7 seconds slower. Suitable Coyote, well, I suppose you'll expect that because he's one of the fastest on this game. Races are abysmal, yes! Yes, they are, Captain Emerald. That's a good way to put it. I think we can get sick fear if we nail it. They seem quick though. I don't know what lap they came in either. Was it the same as us? I'm not quite sure. Put it away from me. He's very quick. Hello, Alan. Dean would have tapped everyone twice by now. Dean would have won the race already, mate. You know that. God, this race is boring, isn't it? I really shouldn't be saying that, because I'm the one streaming. <laughs> I really shouldn't be saying it, but feckin' hell, this race is sh... Well, uh, keep you cool. Keep you cool, it's fine. No, I haven't tried any drifting stuff. I'm not a massive drifting fan, I've got to be honest. Oh, King is, you out. Sorry to hear that, mate. Don't blame you. Where's that finish line? Fuck you know. Hello Beetle Man, hope you're well. Yeah, so a voting system would be good. Um, 
But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why they don't. Why they don't ask people? Maybe like if they do it so you vote on their website or something. I don't know. It's not a bad idea. See, Brandon said if GT had a voting system, Racy would be dragging Trails Group Free every week. You see, I don't think it would. I don't. I don't think it would, Brandon. I think a lot of people. This race is so dead. Um, I don't think a lot of people would do that. I think people would love to mix it up. I really do. We're all, we're all fed up of these. Um, we're all fed up of these races that they just keep giving us every week. The thing is, oh, oh my god, my literally my voice comp <laughs> completely went. Anyways, compose yourself. The thing is, right, as a developer, right, or someone who's like looking after the game, whatever the title is, right, if I put a week of daily races out, uh, what I would do then is I would look at the stats to see how many people played Gran Turismo Sport that week. How many people did Daily Race C? How many people did Daily Race B? How many people did the qualifying? And I'd use those stats, and then I'd figure out which track was the most popular and which ones people liked to do the most. And then I'd put that in the game more often. But I don't under how that can't be that hard, can it? Can it can it be that hard? It can't be that hard, surely. That's just, that's my point of view anyways, that's what I would do. Yeah, GT7's not out till next year, dude. Unfortunately for us. Yeah, as a developer in 2021, you know, people can do amazing things. So it's a massive company like Polyphony. I'd like to think it wouldn't be that hard. Yeah, I suppose if the team's working on GT7 yet, that's that's not a bad shout, but... Um, I, I would argue just because, you know, you work on another game shouldn't mean you, you abandon the game you're currently on. You know, you've still got a very loyal, dedicated fan base. I mean, GT Sport probably has the biggest fan base in terms of a racing game, but probably the, it probably has the biggest amount of numbers. Well, there's probably more people that play GT Sport than there are people who play iRacing or ACC. So, yeah. I'm seventh now. I always have been seventh. What am I talking about? Jesus Christ, I'm losing my mind. GT7 will be PS5 only, yeah. For me, it'd be pointless for them to put it on PS4. It's, it's, it's a next-gen title. It's literally designed for next-gen. Yeah, Matt makes a good point as well. You know, um, they, they made the effort of making GT Sport an Olympic event, adding that event, choosing this track, choosing the car. So, you know, if they can go through that, then why why can't they why can't they add a you know a voting system or something? I don't know. There are many things they could change. There are many things they they could change, and they should. But they won't, because Polyphony are one of the worst companies in the world in terms of talking to their customers. They are absolutely diabolical. They're so bad. They're so, so bad. Um, it's unreal. It really is. It's uh, ridiculous. Just such poor. Um, they're just so poor of talking with their, the people that use the game. Why, if Silverstone never came funders, it'll be because of some sort of licensing issue. It always comes down to it. There was a, wasn't there? There was going to be a group for me, um, MX5 as well, wasn't there? 
That was that was going to be in the game. Uh, Lexus as well, I believe was going to be in the game as well. Um, but again, licensing issues. Nothing there. What am I driving these days? Uh, I've got a Mark 8 Fiesta ST race at the moment. Um, looking to get a um, Mountune um, 235 upgrade on it, but uh, same for our house at the moment, mate, so uh, I can't really do it at the moment. Hello, Ashley. Hope you're well. What do I think for Lewis about what he said about the team in interviews? He was right, I think. Uh, the team messed it up. Um, as simple as that, really. You know, <laughs> I'm not. You know, he's got a hundred podiums, so you know, he doesn't just suddenly, you know, lose it for one weekend. That don't happen. So um, something was clearly wrong with the car, and yeah, the strategy. Oh, oof, they messed that up so bad. Come do some skids if you got some done. One way front wheel drive car. <laughs> I do my best, mate. Uh, to be fair, Reese, I've got some, I've got some really bad manu- like, uh, it's a manufacturer I've never heard of my front tyres. Um, they really need swapping out. It's when I bought it, it came with some new boots, um, but the boots were probably from Poundland, to be honest. They get Spar into the game, that's true, funders, they did get Spar into the game, didn't they? So, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, so many good combos. Uh, win and lose together, isn't that a bit weird? Uh, yeah, I, I suppose so. But what I would also say as well, this guy is a seven-time world champion. He's he's the best... I think he's probably the best racing driver um, the sport has ever seen. So <laughs> if he says, um, you know, it was the team's fault, not mine... I don't, I don't know how much you can really argue with him, to be honest. Because he's, he's the best. He's the best, isn't he? <laughs> so, there's, there's not much really. So, St. Croix, yeah, exactly. Lewis is the GOAT, exactly. It'll be, it's controversial, isn't it, talking about it. So, let's just, um, we're going to quickly go over what we could do in terms of different combinations, right? In terms of different combinations of what you can do with cars, tracks, uh, and all this kind of stuff. Sardinia, right? I actually... <laughs> it's been used more recently, which I'm quite pleased with. Because they didn't really ever use it, to be honest. Um, Brands Hatch. Um, I quite like I quite like the, the Tokyo ones. They're not too bad. Uh, the Group 3 manufacturer race. They were always good, weren't they? Uh, Willow Springs Group 3. When was the last time we had a Willow Springs Group 3 race? Um, I'd very much be up for that. Balls of Troy were number two. Lando just waved and Lewis is the go of F1. Ha <laughs> ha! I like it, I like it. Uh, yeah. Um, Suzuka or Topolis see too much. Spain see too much. St. Croix, I mean, look how many combinations this place has. It's got so many combinations. You could do so many Damn, good Enjoy races games. here. You could do so many. But when was the last time we saw this as race C? Uh, the six combinations we've got here, and they never use it. They never, ever use the bloody thing. Um, so annoying. Um, Al Sass, eh. Laguna Seca, I don't mind too much. Mount Panorama, see it way too much. What about, why can't we mix it up? Group 3 or Group 2 or go uh, Goodwood. Like, just do it. Just, <laughs> just do it. It's fun. Like, why not? It would be so good. Like, it, it would just be fun. Like, it, it'll be madness, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of people that go off um, and stuff like that. But it'll be different, wouldn't it? It just it would just be different, and I'd just like it. Group 2 at Monza. It's a brilliant combination, Group 2 at Monza. Absolutely fantastic. But again, you never see it. You never, ever see it, which is um, frustrating. And, uh, yeah. Nurburgring, Group 3. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. It's just, it's just one of those, isn't it? There's just, there's just quite a few combinations you could go through, um, but no. I just like it. I just like it when it's mixed up. Group one at Sakuba. I just don't like Group one cars, uh, Luke. So I would just be nope. I'd be straight off that. We don't understand why Le Mans uh, Group Grand Prix track is an option. Yeah, yeah, it could be. There is um, 
around here, there is a circuit here that you never see. You never really see. Uh, Autopolis. <laughs> um, oh, Autopolis, sorry. Autodrome. Uh, Brazil, that speaks for itself, doesn't it? That is just an amazing circuit. It just works so well. Have I ever driven on the circuit? Yes, actually. I've driven a... Um, I've driven a Nissan GTR, a Ferrari F430, and a Lamborghini Gallardo. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah. I've enjoyed them. Uh, these, these tracks as well. Um, take this stupid chicane out here. I hate this chicane. I hate it. Because the track limits are a joke. I hate it. Take that out. Just take it out. Just, like, just don't use this combination. Uh, you can look these two these two combinations here. Let's let's just let's go for it. Look, it takes the chicane out. Lovely. These two tracks are awesome. So there's two right there. Um, it's just yeah, different Sardinia ones. Hundred percent. Group three, Mount Panorama Racing. That's all. That's seen an awful lot though. It's seen an awful lot. We see Group three at Panora Mount Panorama um, at least once a month. It's it's very common. It's very very common. Uh, favorite out of the three, the GTR. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I love the GTR. V8 supercars, yeah. Um, group three Interlagos is quite simply the best uh, combo for racing ever. Group three uh, Interlagos is incredible. It's just brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant in this game. You cannot fault it. Fuji without the chicane. I hate the chicane. Get out of it. Get 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 away. Get away. Sol off the chicane. We don't want you. We don't want you. Um, Spa Group 3? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Can't go wrong with race at Bathurst. Well, I would say Forza, Troy. The thing is, with Bathurst, right, as good as that track is, <laughs> the whole, in a way, a lot of it is down to how dangerous it is going down. Um, going down through, you know, going up and down, going through the up and downhill section. How close it is, how tight it is. Um, you know, you just lock up and that's it, game over. You've got no issues with locking up because ABS is on for GT Sport. And you've got no damage. you got no damage. So if you hit the wall, you just, you just carry on. So in a way, it, it, GT Sport kind of ruins it because you don't, you don't get that feeling of when you're driving around there and you're, you're on the limit and you, you think, oh, if I outbreak myself, I'm dead. It's gone. It's, it's not there because it's, it's no good. Uh, it's no good. It doesn't work. You need damage or, or ABS off, really. Uh, not, not even ABS off. You just need the ability to, you know, you can lock up. You don't have that. So, yeah, it just, it just takes it away. It takes it away. So as good and as amazing, as awesome as that track is, um, the races are almost ruined by the fact that it takes, it takes a lot of it away. Um, yeah, it's one of those things. So uh, Group 4 of Catalonia wouldn't actually be that bad, funders. I agree. I actually agree. It wouldn't be that bad at all. No more Mini Cooper 65. Yes. Agreed. And no more Toyota GT86. For the love of God. Uh, I've, I've, I hate that car because of this game. I hate it. I've also thought of a combination as well. Um, so let's have a look at... Uh, what is it? Um, uh, Monza. Wouldn't it be fun if like Monza without the chicane, right? Um, noon. But why don't we have why don't we have some really, really fast road cars? Like why why not that? Right, really feel really fast road cars with racing tires on. Like uh like what happens is what if we had a Pagani Zonda R with racing tires around Monza without without the chicane? Would that not be great? Would you not enjoy that? That's a combination I thought would work. I, I think I'd enjoy that. I would enjoy that, to be honest. Um, I think that'd be good. I, I can't. I can't see why you wouldn't. Uh, and this and GTR and this mo. Um, again, uh, racing, racing tires, just something like that. Um, something like that, you know. Uh, just different. Uh, just but yeah. I think you get my point. Uh, yeah, go from there. But um, are you gonna play that? Are you gonna play the new? Uh, do you mean F1 when it comes out? I think, Trent, is what you're saying. Uh, yeah, well, 100%. You should, you should host some of those custom races. Lawrence, I'd be well up for it. I'd be well up for it. I've done it before. Uh, I've made a video about the best daily races before. Um, I did... What to do? I can't remember what I did for daily race, eh? 
Uh, I did group four at the Red Bull Ring. So I'll explain. If you haven't watched my video, you can watch it. Uh, I did it a couple of months ago. Um, but I did, um, for Daily Race A, I did group four at the Red Bull Ring. And I'll tell you why. Daily Race A for me has got to be about people jumping in the game for the first time. Learning, learning that and just learning the, you know, the mechanics, physics and how it all works. Red Bull Ring, essentially, you know, only, what, two, three major breaking points. Um, so, you know, it's not too bad um, for people to learn. Um, only about nine corners, if you want to be really strict about it. It's a great track and group four cars as well. Easy to, to learn to drive. Um, you know, you can slam your foot on the, on the plow pedal. They don't really react in terms of oversteer. So that would be Daily Race A. Um, Daily Race B, uh, Group 2 at Monza. Uh, fast, furious, just five, six laps of straight out, go for it, gun it, and just go as quick as you can in Group 2 cars. It's just, they're just great, um, Group 2 cars at Monza. If you haven't tried it, I, I seriously suggest you do. Um, they just work. They just work at Monza. They really do. Uh, and then my Daily Race C was um, 14, I know, what was it? I think it's about 16 laps at Interlagos. Uh, group three cars. Um, I think all tyres need to be used and a full tank would not get you to the end. So it has pretty much everything. Um, and then if I had to do a daily race D, I would maybe say Mount Panorama, um, an hour with, um, you know, with damage on, to make it a little bit more spicy. And then, like I said earlier, um, there will be a Daily Race D, which is a special event. Um, and the special event, it doesn't have to be car. It doesn't have to be um, like uh, a normal circuit. It could literally be like an endurance race, like an endurance race oval race. Like we could go here. We go here. Do you know what I mean? Like um, a 200 lap race uh, in a Group Three or Group Two, or whatever, whatever you want it to be, um, around this circuit. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it's something different. Um, uh, and that's how I'd, I would do it, to be honest. But yeah, just something different. Group four at Goodwood works as well. Hey, Michael, cheers, dude. Super Formula, Ali, I don't know. Super Formula for me. Um, I can't really talk too much. I know a lot of people like high downforce uh, cars, but I'm not really all for it. Um, I'm not a massive high downforce kind of guy. Could you imagine, all right, could you imagine Dragon Trail with Damage On at the Death Chicane? And you're doing like a four hour race. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? That is when I'd actually enjoy Dragon Trail again. Like if you had a four hour race, right? Six hour, whatever it was, with damage on at Dragon Trail. And you had to go in the pits and fix it. If you, if you um, hit the wall for like 10, 15 minutes repairs. Oh. Oh. I'd love it. Because it wouldn't matter if someone's like two, three seconds a lap quicker. They'd be, they'd be gunning it so hard. They're bound to hit the wall with the chicane. And they're just going to lose like five, ten laps. Oh, I'd be... Oh, I'd actually fall in love with Dragon Trail again. I actually would. It would just be amazing. Um, but yeah, that will never happen, unfortunately. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. <laughs> I disagree with you. So, yeah, 200 laps, uh, Mr. Medic. It's, it, it's, um, it's, it's hardly anything, isn't it? Uh, like, they're 30 second laps. So, hello Lisa, hope you're well. Can someone explain Discord to me? I surely know how it works, but I'm a fucking noob. So, anyone in the chat, if you don't know what Discord is, um, it's like a WhatsApp for gamers, I'm going to say. So, you join certain person Discords, like mine, uh, link in the description if you want to join. Um, and it's basically where people from the stream, or people who, who support the channel, or anyone who actually just likes racing, they join a stream, and you can talk about anything. There's different, there's different things you can talk about. So there's different tabs. So do you know, like if you open WhatsApp, you'd have a, like a, you'd have like your different groups. Um, same sort of thing, but you'd have. We've got a general chat, community support. We've got GT Sport. We can talk about. We've got NFL. We've got Formula One. Um, you've got. You can put your content in there as well. Uh, you can talk about your own content. Loads of different stuff. Um, it's literally just a. Uh, it's just a place to hang out afterwards for gamers, really. Um, you don't have to be a gamer, of course, but yeah, it helps out a lot. No tennis, no tennis, no will. Um, again, if we find in Discord, if there's enough people that want to talk about it, we'll add a group for it. But I'll be honest with you, I don't think tennis has been mentioned once. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I don't think tennis has ever been mentioned in the Discord. I don't think it has. N300 Nurburgring 24 hour in Twilight, so much fun. Yeah, there you go, there's another combination. 
Uh, is Kiriv doing a 24 hour cup race? I think he did it at the weekend, mate. I think. Not this week. I think he did it last weekend. Can't remember. Can't remember. Anyways, chat. I'm going to end it there because um, the daily races are terrible and I have got some interviewing questions to, to, um, to practice. Um, you know, I, I can't. If they ask me why do I want this job, I can't say money. Because that's not right. <laughs> Which is the only reason we all really work, to be honest. I can't say that. That's, that's naughty. We can't say that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to practice on that. And, uh, yeah. Fingers crossed it goes well. And, um, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll leave it there. But thanks, everyone, for joining. Um, have a lovely week. Seriously, have a really nice week. Um, fingers crossed to see you on Friday um, for a... I think we're doing the last episode of Need for Speed Underground. So if you like classic racing games, retro games, see you there. Um, I might... I, it's a bad week, so I may stream Wednesday for the Nations Cup. I might do. I might. We'll see. We'll see. Um, and we'll go from there, because uh, it looks like it could be an okay combination. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button on the way out, or subscribe if you want to do all that good stuff. Uh, and sorry that the stream's shorter than usual, but I can't drag these races out anymore. It's, it's no good. No good. So uh, we'll leave it there. But uh, yeah, thanks everyone. Have a lovely week. And I'll see you for the next one. Take care. Goodbye.